Bolivia, el corazón de Latinoamérica. En la zona de la Chiquitania y Guarayos ocurre algo misterioso y maravilloso. Su gente, con un talento natural para la música, mantiene viva una identidad y un legado, la música barroca de las misiones. Ya es famoso Bolivia en el mundo entero por su legado y revalorización de estas partituras. En sus templos se han encontrado archivos invaluables, patrimonios de la humanidad, y hace años que existe un impulso irrefrenable por preservar vivos estos sonidos, haciendo sonar sus instrumentos, sus voces, todo el año, como parte esencial de una vida llena de música. Así surge la pregunta, ¿qué pasaría si estas voces, estos instrumentos, hicieran sonar un barroco que no es conocido para ellos? El gobierno de Polonia hizo entonces llevar su herencia cultural al corazón de Latinoamérica y hacer sonar a los compositores de este periodo a través de las manos y voces bolivianas. ¿Los resultados? Increíbles. Acompáñenos a compartir juntos este encuentro, a conocer el proceso de cerca y entender cuál fue el resultado y el impacto de este concierto barroco polaco, estudiado minuciosamente y con mucho amor por músicos bolivianos. Hola, mi nombre es Karina Troyano. Yo participo de la música barroca y de los coros desde el año 1996, cuando fue el primer festival de música barroca. Han transcurrido ya 25 años de aquella vez y realmente siento que este camino recorrido eh, en gran parte se lo debo al Padre Piotr y a Aracaendar, a este coro tan fantástico, en donde mezclamos nuestras voces con chicos y chicas de todo el país, incluso de, de proyectos pequeños alejados como en Santiago o, o como San Javier, Concepción, Urubichá. Es realmente fabuloso poder tener esta oportunidad. Pero hoy quiero contarles que luego de estos 25 años y también de haber tenido oportunidad de viajar a, a varias partes del mundo, en festivales antiguos, de trabajar con directores de, de magnífico nivel, de primer nivel, eh, realmente uno pensaría que no había mucho por sorprenderse, pero este repertorio, esta producción, realmente me ha sorprendido. No conocíamos el, el barroco de Polonia y es, es, es una gran aventura para nosotros. Eh, creo que algo maravilloso que ha sucedido con el proyecto Aracaendar y que nadie lo había esperado es el impacto que tienen estas producciones en coros y orquestas de diferentes partes del país, principalmente en las misiones chiquitanas. El poder trabajar con directores internacionales, con músicos internacionales, con los mismos músicos de otras partes del país que son tan preparados y música tan rica, en lo personal enriquece mucho mi trabajo que tengo la oportunidad de llevarlos a los elencos a los que dirijo. Entonces imagínate ahora, estamos haciendo música del Renacimiento, del Barroco Temprano de Polonia, que para nosotros es la primera vez, y lo vamos a llevar al día de mañana a estos elencos y, y es sin darnos cuenta y sin querer un antes y un después en la forma en cómo trabajamos y vemos la música europea, ¿no? Eh, yo me pongo a pensar si alguna vez Penkiel o Hackenberg o Zielensky se imaginaron que cuando estaban componiendo su música iba a sonar 2.000 kilómetros de distancia más de 400 años después en una iglesia en medio de la chiquitanía y pienso que eso es es maravilloso pienso que no nos damos cuenta pero lo que estamos haciendo es un trabajo maravilloso y no, no puedo más que sentir gratitud por ser parte de esto I will do this program with great pleasure with Arakendar porque uh, because uh, because it was for me also the continuation of the work we did before and with the condition this time a bit difficult with the El Paro y, uh, also con, uh, with the the, 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 the <laughs> I want to speak <laughs> Spanish <laughs> it, it, it was extremely warm also in the in the church then I'm sure we can do a, a better uh, to to progress in, in this in this, uh, the continuation of the, of the work could be very, very interesting, and I really wish to do it again, because really I can, we can reach a higher level also, because the, we didn't develop 
all the things we can develop, De definitely. We, 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 we reach a very good step. We, we did really a, a wonderful work. And I, I, I thank really all the singers, all the instrumentalists, and Piotr Navrot. Uh, but I'm sure it will be, we, we can do really, we, we can do really uh, progress in this, uh, not only also for, the, for this program, but for the continuation of the work of uh, the, the Arakendar with me. La musica uh, choos chosen, chosen by Piotr Navrot is from, from the, the, the Baroque uh, Polish music. It's very interesting. It shows some polyphony, a bit the transition between the polyphonic music of the 16th century and the beginning of Baroque music of the 17th century. And this music was, is really, really a very high level of music, of composition, very inspired by Italian music. Italian Baroque music was a bit the, the, the place where the music had the most of, uh, uh, was very new for, for the period. And, and the quality of the music is extremely good. It's really, uh, uh, it was a pleasure to, uh, to perform this music because it's very, uh, it's the, 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 all, the, all the quality you can find, the, the sonority, the rhythm, the, the quality of the prosody, then the way you put the Latin in music is extremely good. One of the things most interesting of this type of repertory that we're doing is the versatility of being able to apply to any type of elencos, not only to elencos professional, but a elencos que están empezando su formación coral, puede ser para niños o jóvenes. 
Eh, los elencos que hacen música barroca aquí en Santa Cruz generalmente lo hacen de los compositores famosos, eh, Tomás Luis de Victoria, William Byrd, Vivaldi, Händel. Casi nadie conoce barroco polaco y creo que es una buena oportunidad para que estos elencos puedan conocer esta música y aplicarlo a sus repertorios habituales para poder expandir ese catálogo de música y a la vez también conocer las distintas formas de interpretar este estilo de acuerdo a las regiones distintas que se desarrollaron en Europa. Bueno, la verdad es un repertorio muy lindo, a mí me hace sentir muy bien porque es un reto personal para mí cantar notas graves, ya que entiendo que en Polonia tienen, tienen gente con, con buenos graves y la verdad es un, es un reto y un crecimiento para mí, me, me enriquece mucho y me hace sentir muy bien como, como músico poder este, explotar mi voz de esa manera. The, the, the quality of, uh, of uh, Arakaindar es, es una, una, una fuerza y eh, un respeto de, de, del arte. Es, estoy muy... Uh, I, was, I was speaking... <laughs> español y, y, y español. La, to, to work with Arakaindar is always for me very very interesting because they have a, a strong energy and really uh, a wish to, to, to reach, to, to, to develop their, their possibility. The sonor sonority of the voices is very specific, is very warm, is, is full, it's, it's, it's powerful, and uh, it gives for, for this music, for this Polish music, also a, a strong sonority, a, a powerful sonority. And uh, perhaps it, it's missing sometime in the interpretation of Baroque music, which is always thinking as um, um, some, uh, speaking as um, what did he say? A rhythmical music. But when you, you adapt, you, you, you come from the text, from the quality, of the Latin, then it's a total, a, a, a total other sonority. And I think with the choir, we, we, we find more and more this quality, and perhaps it's a bit specific, and we cannot hear all, always this quality in other group. Sometimes they are very precise, they have a lot of energy also, but in a, another way. Here it's really the quality of all the, the singer together to, to carry the the, 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 prose, the to, to carry the, the, the reason of, of the text, which is very important for the for the polyphony and for the beginning of Baroque music.
the beginning of Baroque era, the music in Europe has, has a, a lot of connection. I mean, you have, you have different styles like French music, Italian music, Spanish music, English music, but you have also a lot of uh, criterion in common. Then the technique of composition has a lot of, of, uh, you know, of common, uh, common things. And uh, finally, this music of, from Poland is very connected with Italian music and music of the, 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 the Baroque, Bolivian Baroque, is also very connected to Spanish and Italian music. Then for them, it was not a big step to do. It's a bit different, but finally, it's always, always a bit the same, uh, the same challenge to put, to, to, to understand the way to put the words into the music. And uh, I think it was now the third time I work with Arakaindar, and we progress a lot in this, in this, uh, in this uh, field. Because in this period, you have, it's the, the rhythm, the prosody, the, the way you pronounce the text, who, we, which give the rhythm itself. It's not like a division of the term, like tam, pa, pa, pam, but the text, dixi, dominus, for instance, and the composer tried to find a melody and the reason who, who is connected totally with the prosody. And it's a hard work and difficult work, but finally for them, it was in the continuation of what we did before, because it's always the same challenge. And also this music, this Polish music, is also a bit like the, the, the Bolivian Baroque music, because the contrapoint is very important. The contrapoint is the art of combining different lines. How you, you go together, you, you come together, and you do dissonances and consonances. And it's an art which is very connected in all Europe. And then all this music who was then connected with the, the, the music of the new world. Hola, hace tres años eh, estoy participando con el coro de Aracaendar y ha sido un orgullo de ser partícipe de este lindo proyecto. He tenido buenas experiencias y estoy muy agradecido con, esto, con todo este proyecto. Mi viaje a Polonia ha sido una buena experiencia. He conocido buenos lugares. Visitamos el eh, Museo del Papa Juan Pablo II y la Virgen Negra del Santuario. Y gracias al Padre Pior por, por realizar este hermoso proyecto. Eh, ha cambiado la vida, no a mí, sí, a muchas personas. Bien. Nosotros somos integrantes de Urubichá, soprano Lady Campos Sarandia, contralto Eliana Guadalupe Sema, bajo Roy Urarapia Orellay y mi persona tenor Rodolfo Cuñanguira Saiger, la cual estamos muy contentos por darnos esta oportunidad eh, de, part de participar con este proyecto. Y nosotros hablamos nuestro propio idioma, que es el guarayo. Aouye, muchas gracias. Ok. When you begin to work a repertoire, it's very, very interesting because you try to connect with what you know. For, for instance, I work Spanish music, Baroque music, Spanish uh, Renaissance music, because it's one of the most important in Europe, but also Italian Baroque music, because it's really the beginning of this new way of conceive the music. I know French Renaissance and, and Baroque music. Then for me, the interest is try to find in, in what I know to develop, uh, to understand what the composer, this Polish, the composer wanted to, 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 to express. And for me, it's always when you do early music, uh, it's always the challenge because you, you, you know, for instance, if you pr take a new repertoire, you know the music who is before, you know the music who is after, you know you, the, 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 your music in the different countries, and you try to understand what is similar and what are the particularities. 
And for, for this music, I find a lot of connection with Italian music, with Italian polyphony and Italian baroque music. But also this, uh, this freshness is something very, uh, very joyful also, very, very, very deep also in the, uh, in the conception of, of composition and the, 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 the meaning of the text is, was in all the pieces uh, Piotr Navrat chose for us, uh, in all the pieces you can really uh, understand the, the, the wishes of the composer because the, the music and the text are really connected. If it's a psalm, if it's a mass, we had different, uh, different uh, repertoire also. The repertoire for, for instrumental music we did also. It's, it's really interesting to see uh, how the music is connected to Europe because Europe was something uh, with a lot of connection, but also specific in his, yeah, in his, yeah, in the, the way they express their own personality.
nombre es Carlos Gutiérrez y soy de la ciudad de Cochabamba. Soy miembro de Coral Acaendar eh, y he estudiado música en Cochabamba a nivel técnico superior y tengo una experiencia coral de casi unos 13 años. ¿no? Eh, soy miembro del coro casi 6 años y participar en este repertorio me, 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 me está usando mucho. Es un repertorio interesante que no conocía y que creo que me va a servir para poder aplicarlo en mi vida musical, ¿no? eh, para hacer un repertorio eh, nuevo que no se ha hecho mucho en Cochabamba. Bueno, muy buenos días. Mi nombre es Alfredo Aramayo, pertenezco a, soy tenor del, del coro Aracaendar. En esta ocasión es mi, cuarta, mi cuarto proyecto con Dominique Velard. El año 2012 fue mi primera oportunidad en Francia. Eh, yo creo que en esta, en esta ocasión es muy importante el, el trabajo con, con Dominique, pues él consta de muchísima experiencia con lo que es la música antigua y eh, es la primera vez que nosotros eh, realizamos eh, barroco, barroco hecho en Polonia, entonces creemos que, que trabajar con el maestro Dominique Velar es muy importante porque él cuenta con muchísima experiencia y con muchísimo conocimiento acerca de lo, de lo que es la, la música antigua. Entonces, estamos muy felices de poder trabajar con él. Um, ya, ya trabajamos con él antes otro tipo de, de música antigua y también tuvimos muy, muy lindas experiencias. Entonces, en esta, en esta ocasión agradecemos a, al Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores de Polonia por poder eh, hacer posible este, este proyecto y que podamos eh, reunirnos, dadas las condiciones actuales, y que podamos eh, ejercer un poco de lo que es el arte, ¿no? Y pienso que es muy importante. Muchas gracias. Even in, in the history, the politician, the, the, the nobleman, for the, the king, the, the, has always interest to show the richness, the, 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 the What is in English the, the la richesse, the riqueza, the richness, the richness of a nation. A nation. Then he, he use the, the talent of his musician, artist, painter, sculptor, to to prove the quality of the nation. And then it's very important nowadays too to to present a nation not only in the question of The, 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 the country, but also in uh, presenting, the, presenting the culture of a nation. Then it's very, very nice and, and great that this politician, this foreigner affairs, just ask and, and give the possibility for, for, for us to present this music here and to, to To present diff and, and to, to connect and to present different culture in any part of the world is important because then you realize what, what are the connection, what is very similar and what is different. And that is culture and it's, even if it's different, it's not a problem. It could be very nice, it would be a beautiful thing and in another In another place, something totally different, but very beautiful also. And it is, I think it's very important. I know in France and a lot of country, which uh, this, the, the government try also to export the culture, to export the language, because it's, it's very good for a country, and it's very good also for the con country who receive this possibility to know another culture, I think.
Hola, ¿qué tal? Yo soy Andrea y soy contraalto del coro Aracaendar. Y de parte del grupo estamos súper orgullosos de poder ser parte de esta producción a nivel internacional. También queremos agradecerles a la Cancillería de Polonia por apoyarnos. Bueno, de mi lado, este, agradecer a, a, al gobierno de Polonia por la oportunidad que nos está dando y en todo caso este, disfrutar de este repertorio y espero que lo disfruten con nosotros. The, the work of Piotr in, uh, in Bolivia is absolutely exceptional. It's the, the quality uh, of, of his work in terms of uh, science, the, uh, as the, the, the musicology, the discovery of the source, the edition is extraordinary. But also the way he integrate the, 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 the population of, of Bolivia and the artists in Bolivia, all his work is absolutely exceptional and very unique. I mean, it's, I, don't, I don't know another, another situation where when one single people, he has a lot of help, for sure. But his work is absolutely unique to develop uh, the qual musical quality of a lot of musicians in Bolivia and also to, to make it visible for all the world. I mean, it was, for instance, in, in France, a lot of possibility to, to hear the, the music from the South uh, America, but it was one of the, the, the central point of this knowledge in, uh, in Europe. And the, the, the quality of music conserved in Bolivia, in Sucre, in the mission, is extremely important. And all this work he did for 30 years it's only important for science, for art, but also for the population, for the development, for the, the, the connection between the mission and, and, and Santa Cruz and, and Sucre. It's, it's, it's really, it's a unique, unique work he, he did. He does. <laughs>